What's going on YouTube? Welcome to the King Sense channel. Now this is the place where we appreciate and also celebrate the art of fragrances. Now we got three goals on this channel. Be your best, look your best, and of course, smell your best. My job is to help you do just that. Now if that's something that has your attention, show your support by hitting that like button, leaving a comment, and subscribe to the channel. Come and be a part of the family. We would love to have you. I hope everybody had a blessed week, a blessed weekend, and I wish you many more. Now, let's get on to the feature presentation. All right, so I got a box in today, a package from uh, jomashop.com. All right, I am not uh, sponsored by them, um, but shout out to them for the speedy delivery. All right, so naturally, when the package came in, I had already just planned on opening them up as I usually do and just testing the fragrances out, seeing if they're a hit or miss. Um, but I just thought it would be fun to share with uh, my viewers on uh, just some first impressions of fragrances that uh, I have never smelled, all right? Um, so I think maybe one of them I have. So we'll talk about that as we continue to open up this package, all right? So. Again, uh, these fragrances came from jomashop.com. All right, so you can shop with them uh, with confidence. All right, so we have three fragrances here, and the fragrances are as such. We have Mancera uh, Lemon Lime, all right, from the house of Mancera. Then we have a Cheapy. Uh, we have a very affordable fragrance. Uh, by the house of Antonio Banderas, and that is Blue Seduction, all right? And then also we have a tester uh, by Hermes Parfums, okay? So you guys would just have to find out which fragrance that is, all right? So stay tuned. Now, we're going to show the Cheapy some love, so we'll unbox the Cheapy first. Now, just a little background about this fragrance uh, by the house of Antonio Banderas. Um, so, when I first came into fragrances, you know, I'm talking 13, 14 years old, uh, maybe even younger. I may have been around 12, uh, not much younger. But anyway, one of the very first fragrances in my collection was Blue Seduction. But it was not in the uh, format of... Uh, eau de toilette or a spray it was actual oils that you put on your body all right so when i first got into the fragrance game uh, i did start off with oils and some eau de toilettes as well uh, but they were just real cheap um dollar store fragrances you know i was a young kid we come from a humble beginning so i could not afford any quality uh premium products all right so blue seduction was actually a hit for me uh, coming up in the fragrance game. So anyway, where are my manners? Let me show you guys the bottle. All right, here is the juice. All right, this is Blue Seduction. This is Blue Seduction. So you got a nice uh, mirror chrome cap. You got a nice beautiful uh, juice here. And from, from my memory, this is not your typical blue fragrance, but I could be wrong. Now, we're talking many, many years ago, so let's see if I was right. Again, this, if I'm not mistaken, does not have your typical blue uh, aquatic DNA, but let's see. Man, okay. Okay, so it definitely has a fresh powdery DNA very sweet smells like there may be some lavender in here slightly aquatic maybe but I, I will not call this an aquatic fragrance but but this does lean more on the fresh powdery citrusy aromatic DNA all right so 
Let me let me look up the notes real quick, tell you guys who may be interested in this fragrance. All right, so at the top, you got melon, bergamot, mint, black currant. At the heart, you got sea water, green apple, cappuccino, cardamom, and nutmeg. And at the base, we have woozy notes and we have amber. Now, I do pick up the cardamom. It does have a bit of spiciness to it. Uh, the green apple is kind of faint. I believe that melon and bergamot are going to be your star players here uh, on the initial spray. I'm not really picking up any mint. But uh, the cappuccino, I'm not really picking up the cappuccino or I may get a little bit of the nutmeg. It kind of reminds me of a ginger accord, but but yeah, this is this is absolutely very pleasant. Um, I buy chibis for the purpose of wearing to the gym or on a day where I'm really just lounging around the house. Um, I may just want to spray a fragrance, but I don't want to spray anything expensive. Uh, guys, those are what my cheapies are usually for, all right? Mainly for the gym. But this is absolutely pleasant by the house of Antonio Banderas. That is Blue Seduction, all right? Blue Seduction. All right, guys, let's go to this next fragrance. Uh, if you're not familiar with the house of Mancera, they are a niche uh, fragrance house, okay, out of Paris, France. All right, they do some amazing fragrances. And... Uh, and they have quite an extensive line of offerings, okay? So, I believe they have a little something uh, for everybody, regardless of what you're into. They have something for you, all right? So, here is the bottle. This is Lemon Lime. I mean, that is a gorgeous presentation. Um, if you don't like this, what's wrong with your eyes, okay? Gorgeous presentation. But this is Lemon Lime. Okay, let's see what this uh, lemon line smells like. Beautiful atomizer. Reminds me of the Dior's. Uh, you do get a magnetic cap with this one as well. I like this. I like this. Honestly, I did not think that the overdose of the lemon would be uh, to my liking. But this, this is very, very nice. Guys, it's almost a mouth-watering citrusy lemon. Juicy lemon. I mean, the lemon is almost tart. Very realistic. Uh, so if you're not a fan of lemon, you will not like this fragrance, but I'm picking up some other things in here as well, uh, as it's very fresh citrusy. But there's also some things going on in the background. There's there's some woods. There may be some other fruits that's helping to round this thing out so that it's not just strictly a uh, lemon, right? But let's pull it up. At the top, we have lemon, lavender, and orange. At the heart, we have geranium, white flowers, amber. And at the base, we have oak moss and white musk. So I probably won't get the lavender until the complete dry down. But right now, that orange is shining through. You get a touch of white florals. But it's not the typical Mancera DNA. I believe when Mancera mentions florals in their fragrances, you better believe there's some florals in there. This one to me, right now, I'm barely picking up any flowers or any floral uh, components to this fragrance. That white musk and lavender together is going to give this fragrance a bit of powderiness. Uh, the oak moss is there. Uh, the oak moss is there. As this begins to settle down, that oak mossy, green, earthy uh, energy is coming forward. So this is absolutely better than I thought it was going to be. Uh, I'm not going to rate them, but we will do um, full reviews in the future. But right now, Lemon Lime, 
by the House of Mancera is a banger. So last but not least, by the House of Hermes, let's see what this fragrance is. And it is a tester, so I'm hoping there's a cap in here. I absolutely need my cap, all right? And I see a cap, so I appreciate the House of Joma Shop for that. They sent your boy a cap. All right, so this is the Teir de Hermes fragrance, all right? This is the Eau de Toilette. Um, I have not put my nose on this fragrance. But I have seen a lot of talk about this fragrance, about the DNA supposedly uh, being a timeless masterpiece for the spring and summer. We're going to find out right now, does this give me timeless masterpiece vibes? All right, so guys, y'all could have told me that this cap was a screw, uh, screw on cap, okay? So you have to screw it down and up if you don't have this fragrance, okay? So let's give it a couple sprays. Oh man, nice atomizer. Nice atomizer. Okay. And we'll allow the fragrance to dry down before we put it. Oh man. This in the air. Okay. Okay. All right. I see what the talk is about. I see what the talk is about. This, the first thing that pops to my mind is you get this smooth, gentleman, playboy uh, DNA. I'm talking about, man, listen, guys, this is a fragrance that I feel like could possibly make the ladies go crazy. It smells like, it smells like money. It smells like a man who is well off, who's who's doing good in life. I mean, he's he's a uh, he's a boss, uh, or he's on some type of executive level in his line of work. Um, or if he is working a nine to five, I mean, he's not one for anything. He's not one for anything at all. Beautiful man. So I know there's some flankers to this fragrance. We will be pulling the trigger. Absolutely. Absolutely, guys. You get this sweet, fresh, citrusy accord at the top. Um, I don't know if it's mandarin orange. I don't know if it's a tangerine accord, but it is very, very pleasant. Uh, sweet, aromatic, woody, slightly earthy. Man, this is incredible. This is incredible. I will give you my rating, but y'all have to wait for the full review uh, for this Hermes, okay? All right, so I was correct. So at the top, we have orange, grapefruit, pepper, pelargonium, flint, vetiver, cedar, patchouli, and benzoin. So it does have a spicy edge to it. The patchouli is adding this slightly herbaceous um, green type of tinge to it. The vetiver is adding this rich, sweet undertone, uh, maybe even slightly smoky. This is a masterpiece. And I'm gonna tell you one more thing. I was actually going to go for, um, I believe they have a 1.7 ounce bottle. Uh, and I believe they have something even smaller than that. So originally I was going to order that, but man, I'm so glad that I bought the 100 ml. This one is going to be getting some rotation. You understand me? This is going to get some rotation for sure. Man, man, guys, I'm telling you, if you want to smell like success, if you want to smell like wealth, it slightly even gives me a bad boy vibe. Um, man, I got to put this on skin. Guys, I got to put it on skin. Let me get some reactions. And then let's talk about this full review uh, at a very, very uh, sooner than later date. All right. If you have any of these fragrances, guys, talk to me down below. Let me know what's your thoughts and opinions. Okay. And real quick, I'll say probably between the three. 
that day Hermes is, is crazy. But that man, sir, I don't know which one I like better. Um, the Blue Seduction is a banger, especially for the gym or just lounging around. Now, this one does kind of give me um, Versace, Mano, Frace vibes, maybe somewhere along that lines. So I don't know which one came out first, but one of them's got to be a clone because this one is giving me that vibe just a little bit. But Blue Seduction, I'll say, probably has been out longer than uh, Versace, Mano, Frace, but it doesn't matter. I have them both. Um, all of these are great buys. All of them. Um, so again, if you have any of these fragrances, uh, let us know what's your thoughts and opinions, okay? Do you like it, dislike it, love it, hate it, so on and so forth, all right? So until the next time, be blessed, be safe, and Mr. King Sense is out.